Hey, I hope y'all are having a, a good week. Lord, I tell y'all, I'm just now catching up from all that lovely hat. Too. Ooh, I got paint on my shirt. Lord, this shirt is old as Methuselah and all of them. But anyway, I hope y'all have had a good week. I, I'm just now catching up from um, the December events and getting rest. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I slept all day. I didn't mean to. I woke up about... 8 o'clock and said, well, I'm going to just lay down and take me a little bit of nap. I'm going to just, you know, go on and get my nap out good. And Oh, Lord, I ain't going to tell y'all what time it was when I woke up. Needless to say, it was a very unproductive unpro day. Absolutely. I'm going to tell y'all what, it is cold. I'm, I'm who I, and I don't get real cold, but I tell y'all, this house ain't got no insulation in it. The main part, like the front part does, but the office and the sunroom and the master bathroom were all added on later. And I'm going to tell y'all about that. They didn't put insulation in them walls when they put them walls up. And Lord, I'm going to tell y'all, it is colder than a well digger booty in Idaho in this house. Do you hear me? I don't ever turn the heat on, but Lord, I got the heat going high today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Y'all saw my post regarding my grandma. I'm going to tell y'all, as an adult, I always knew that she would die at some point. That's just the way of life. But I have this memory of when I was a young child, probably seven, eight, perhaps nine. And I told her one day to promise me that she would never die. And she promised me. She said, okay, I won't. Well, don't ever promise your children or your grandchildren you ain't going to die because the Lord knows it's going to come. But the day she died, that child of me was, who I was so mad at her. I, Lord, I, I could have whipped her, but Lord, she was already dead, so we won't do no count to whip her. But, um, so, yeah, that, that's what's going on with that. Um, now, I tell y'all, I have, who I got a million and one thoughts going through my head. It's been so long since I saw y'all. How y'all been doing? Oh, it's just so good to talk with y'all again. I, um, I had to take a break. I just had to take a break, and then in the midst of taking that break, some family issues have come up that I have tried to offer, you know, a little bit of advice to, and I'm going to tell you, folks come to me for advice, and, and I love that. I, I love helping people. But Lord Jesus, I, I said, Lord, I'm going to have to lay down and just go to sleep, and that's what I did. This is what we're going to discuss today, people taking people for granted. You know, especially in a relationship and even in a friendship, when two, some people, you know, two people become friends, at first it's, oh, I love you, you love me, we're a happy family, and everybody friends with everybody, you, you know, everything getting along good, and then one or the other or both even become comfortable, and it, 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 it gets taken for granted. I'm going to tell y'all something. A person can handle only so much being taken for granted before they're going to do one or two things. They're going to quit what they're doing to make your little hotel do it yourself, such as doing your laundry or if they're your friend calling to check on you. They're going to say, well, he'll be all right if he need me. He's going to call me. Or they're going to get their coat and their hat and leave their words on the doorstep and they're going to leave is what's going to happen. You better tell somebody you love them. You better let somebody know you appreciate them because they may not be there. Now, that's the truth on that situation. Ain't nobody promised a friendship or a relationship, a, 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 a romantic relationship with somebody. It's not promised to you. If you step into either of those, you are a lucky person. You better pay attention to it because, honey, it ain't yours to have. Do you know what I'm saying? I sure hope you do, because Lord knows it's a, it's a lot of folks I know who are being taken advantage of, or not advantage, just being taken for granted. That person thinks he'll always be there. She'll always be there. They'll always be my friend. My husband ain't going nowhere. My, my partner going to be here forever. Honey, I'm telling you, one day the cloud going to roll back, and you're going to look back, and you're going to be sitting on that bench by yourself. And you're going to say, uh-oh, ruh-oh. What's going to do? Say, ruh-oh. Yes, indeed. Well... Tell everybody I love them, and I'm going to check in with y'all here more directly soon. It ain't going to be so long. I have caught up on my beauty rest. As you can see, big sex I got it going on, you know. Anyway, I love y'all. Bye-bye.